hot shit, hot shit. You don't think we report the hot shit? Nope. We report the raunchy shit. I like that too, Rose. I really, really like that. I really fucking like that, bro. I'm trying my best. Oh, you're going to compliment too, right? Um, I'll say that. Welcome to episode 50 of the Brother Guys podcast. I am your host, Jay Manley. 50, hold up, man. Hold, hold the fuck up, man. <laughs> Drop all them bombs. Drop all the bombs you have on the soundboard. Every gunshot. <laughs> Pow. Every, really, every nigga? <laughs> That's what you think he's done. Cut every, department. Every, aha, every, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I turned this some balls up, man. Hold up. One more, run this shit back. Run it up, guys. Yeah, we stacked the yeah, jettas. Yeah, we are. And we die trying. Feel me? We really hit 50 fucking episodes, man. Hey. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting us so far. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and keep this motherfucker rolling. We have a guest today. Perry, thank Hi. you for joining us today. What's going on? Uh, round of applause again. Um, I've been knowing Perry for... Fucking long ass time. I can't even really put a number on it. Um, Cause I was in the navy. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I was in the navy. I was. Yeah. Happy Veterans. Was. Well, thank you. Yeah, happy belated Veterans Day. Thank you. How long were you uh? Enlisted? About three years. Three years. Okay. You right, like it? Right. You like um, it? Um, I liked my friends. <laughs> and I like living in Japan. Okay, so what did you like? Oh, you lived in Japan. All right. Hold yeah. On. yeah, we gotta talk. <laughs> we gotta talk. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Japan. We really gotta talk. So, what part of Japan? I was in Yakuza, Japan. Ooh, see, so, you really know that. I'm about to say you gotta educate us. Where, where, okay, where, so Yakuza, uh, Yakuza. Well, I mean, a lot of people there speak English, though. Like most people just know of like Okinawa and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. we had people there. But Yakuza is just That's on more. Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> it's more city like it's a lot of things to do the food is great the people are fucking nice like Japanese people coming back home was a culture shock I was just like damn mm. you bastards are rude as fuck have you traveled a lot in the United States? in the US? not really but I've been to Hong Kong Australia oh, Singapore South Korea and that's another one Oh yeah, I need to get like her. Australia was my top, top two not. Australia, two. how was the? F- yeah. Did you find Nemo? No, I did not. No, I did not. How, sure how was the food wanted? in Japan? Fucking amazing. Really? And I, I long. To eat. Who told you that? Niggas who don't eat shit, but probably like a cheap. <laughs> Popeye exactly. chicken sandwiches. <laughs> it's hella shit to eat. We gotta talk about the Popeye chicken sandwiches too. How they eat? Trash. Popeyes you know. is trash. How niggas in jail get it before me? Bull. Yeah, I was shitty about that when I was. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't tried jail. it yet. And how niggas in jail see Kanye West perform before me? Literally. Well, I've seen Kanye perform, so I can't. I don't, I don't I'm about to say, I haven't. <laughs> Malcolm has it. We have not. And niggas that's locked down have seen this nigga before us. Up, weird man. Shit going One on. time for T-Rose speaking the fuck up, man. No, no, no man. That, that really triggered me. I ain't seen yet yet. <laughs> that nigga's in there getting it, too. They have four row seats. Like he was shaking. He no was shaking seats. up with him too. This nigga didn't have no seat. I never hit a lick just so I could be there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Never. Wait, that wasn't that wasn't the Marion County <laughs> show. Um. So, Perry, you have a you have a cosmetic line called Blunt Cosmetics. Yes, Blunt Cosmetics. That's what? my baby. Yes, but it's B L V N T. I feel like I know of this. Oh. No. I don't know that that B L V U N T cosmetics. No, just B L V. You probably seen it on Twitter. Probably. That's what I meant. I said V and I said V and U. Okay. You said V and U. Oh, I said V and U. I meant to say it. I think I got a blue cosmetic. Blue, 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 blue. You already got niggas blue legging your shit already, Perry? Uh, already. Yeah. That's how you know you popping. <laughs> no, uh, it's my baby. Um, I'm finally able to just like start getting it out there. I thought it was a... An idea about three years ago, mm-hmm. and you know life is shit getting away. So I said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm just go full force." Okay, so about this cosmetic line, um, from what I've seen so far, it's been a lot of uh, lip gloss, right? And oh, chapstick. This is my business card. Uh, right now, it is just lip gloss. I have nine different colors, okay. about four different flavors. Um, but then next step is going to be my lip oils and lipstick. And then from there, I'm just going to keep building it. So this is more so geared towards the women right now? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to do some things for the men's. Okay. Purple Rain based off of Prince. Got you. Are you a Prince fan? 
I do love me some Prince. Ooh, oh, I love Pepsi Dust too. Like not like. like <laughs> wait. Wow. That sounded terrible. I like Agent Dust. I actually just sold out of my Pepsi Dust today, so hey, I was really happy that's, about that's, that. That's, that's what's you up. Did, you know, applause that real quick. You feel me? Yeah, oh, definitely. Sold out. Yeah. Definitely. Set out dates. I ain't never sold out. Boy. <laughs> like, I'm like, nothing. 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 Um. So when when you say that you have stuff coming from the men, what um. Could you give us like a little teaser as to what that may they be? They don't need something for um, his beard. Definitely. I'm, I'm in the market for a beard bomb. Well, actually, my little sister is into making lip scrubs and body butters. So, bomb skin care, you guys. Um, look out for that. So, I'm going to be working with her this Christmas to get like stocking stuffers and stuff. Oh, so, okay. So, she definitely got a, some good things going on for the people. We'll be in touch. Yes. Mac, I didn't like how you just tried to come, like, make it a joke that I'm looking for stuff for my beard. <laughs> I was being I'm about to say, that's probably dead ass. Oh, I mean, okay. she said cosmetics, and, okay. like, that's the only, you know. I, I mean, I'm about to say No, me. because you tried to say a few weeks ago when we had Tasha on about me putting the beard butter in my beard so it's not patchy. <laughs> <laughs> you said that. Hey, honestly. On air. Once we leave here, I don't know what I said. Facts, I mean, facts. Once the camera and the mics is off, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's said. It just happens. It's all natural. All right. Um. So, Perry, what? Perry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Perry, what? Uh, what inspired you to uh, drop this line? Uh. Well, I mean, if people really know me, they know I just try and shit and try and shit don't work, and I mm. keep trying shit. You know, I can do hair, but I don't like to do with people like that, so I don't do it. But I like I to feel make good. people feel nice about themselves. So you and found a heavy medium for you. Yes. Yeah. I was doing lashes for a time. I'm like, you know what? People's playing with my time. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. I'm just going to put something else where you could buy it, and you could apply it yourself, mm -hmm. and you can feel good about yourself. And that's just that. Yeah, because if you want to get it, I got to deal with you after that. Exactly. Right. One time for Perry again, man, because we, we got a lot of well, entrepreneurs in the city, but it's a few who actually, like, stick with it, and I've been seeing her keep up with this shit, and I remember, like, you just, like, talking about it when nothing was, like, really out yet, so just just to see you, like, really selling, yeah. it's really dope to see that shit, like, progress like that, for real. Well, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's no problem, a long no problem. Time coming for me. I have a question. So, do you... Do you have, have you ever experienced or dealt with, or do you currently have social anxiety when it comes uh, to dealing with people? Yes, I do. Yes, actually. you do. Okay, so with you figuring out this medium, did that help with your social anxiety? Did it help you deal with people a little better since you get, get to kind of do it at your own pace now since you figured out how to, you know, balance both? Well, that and taking my medicine, yes. Ah, gotcha. Um, okay. I don't. I want to help people, but I don't want to do it at, at the expense of myself. At the expense, because okay. I don't want to, you know, have people right. giving me bad reviews. Like she's so standing off I'm like, right, right. y'all a little weird. But thank you for supporting my business, and I really appreciate that. I just want to, okay, get that. Right. All the reason I ask because I feel like in this day and age, it's a lot easier for though for people with social anxiety or people who just don't like dealing with people to make. Like what you would like with blunt cosmetics, like you can find that medium and still flourish and still touch the people without necessarily touching the people. If you, you yeah, know what I mean? you know what I'm saying. Can I sound like a 62 year old nigga for a little bit? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, so everybody got social anxiety now because niggas don't gotta really interact with niggas. So when they actually forced to, they don't know how to deal with it. That's the flip side of it, though. That's the flip side. I literally that is the flip side because I I've definitely have never like I I can probably say these past years have been my most like outgoing. And like socially, like just talking to people and not Prospering. feeling like uncomfortable with the shit. Yeah. Like I don't feel I don't feel uncomfortable in social settings like I used to. I felt like that all my life. I'm like, so glad I learned how to feel comfortable while feeling uncomfortable. Like sometimes yeah. I create uncomfortable situations so I can feel powerful. Mm -hmm. Got gotcha. you. So, I remember. So you could be in control of the situation. Not even really in control. It's just like I know if I I know that I'm gonna feel uncomfortable, so I'm gonna make myself feel uncomfortable so that next time I feel uncomfortable. I'm comfortable. I don't know what the fuck you talk about. Basically, uh, put, <laughs> putting yourself. You, 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 yeah, you got to get comfortable so with being uncomfortable. You, know, you still operate at the level you need to operate at. Okay. While you're yeah. Okay. Now that was a way That's better I mean. explanation. <laughs> <laughs> you lost me. She said, Hold "I on, get it." I don't get it. What the fuck? Oh, I know shit. we said that to the end. We it. We own it. I get it. I get it now. So I want to add because I. You just brought that up, and I want to add something on to, like, our notes. Summer Walker canceled her tour. 
She canceled. No. Well, she canceled some dates. Excuse me. She's canceled some dates. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Um, she got like nine more left. Yeah, but she canceled some some of her dates due to her just like not really fucking with it. Basically, bro, I'm sorry, but I'm not paying whatever the fuck her ticket prices are. To I, see I, her I've stand. heard that they're pretty expensive. Yeah. Well, dude. she is an independent act, guys. Come on. We have she, to she's what? Her. She's an independent. Act. Is she? Oh, Summer's no. independent. Oh no. I'm gonna say is she? I don't, she's in, I don't think she's I'm independent, say, nah, bro. bro. <laughs> I don't think she's in. I was trying to shoot some bill somewhere. <laughs> uh, what, is that, what does that have to do with her like canceling dates and like? Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's like, you know, everything's on your shoulder. People feel too entitled. That's so, so that, you're with her with not one of. But then my thing is like, why offer a meet and greet package and shit? You know, you don't. Really I mean, need. that that I don't agree with. She knew that beforehand, so you should have tailored your tour to how it was going to work for you in the first place, mm-hmm. and then sure. just you know probably work in some more if you felt comfortable. That was my only thing. Don't give us all these dates and then take half them the fucking way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Other than that, that's cool. Do what you got to do for you. Right. Feel that. right. But look, I'm going to flip the script. She not an independent artist. She signed to a label. So she has, con- <laughs> <laughs> she has contractual obligations that she may have to feel. She might not want to do meet, but she may be legally required to due to her contract. She didn't even want to be in a spotlight like that. Like, but it's, you, it. it's like yeah. if you when you blow up you blow up so it's like if that if it's really like that for you just take the frank ocean road i was literally about to say that hey you see how that nigga finessed the game the entire game but she could they, easily do the same thing no i said that ever since frank did that that nigga's been on that with niggas. yeah you guys oh say, even like his famous the, friends he, no like the industry no, like people. the, industry been on that the niggas who got finessed yeah the niggas oh. who got finessed by frank are on that with everybody else now sure that's what rca or it's one of them, one of them big niggas. Really? One of them RCA Universal Sony. Yeah, I can't. Uh, what do you? That did what? As that, far as that, like that, being that on that. Too. Oh. Uh. Um. So Mal- Malcolm, you were saying that RCA had got on it after Frank Ocean pulled his stunt and just like disappeared from niggas. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um. I'm not exactly sure if it was RCA, but whoever Frank was signed to, I'm not sure. Man, I don't. I don't know who either. I don't oh yeah, it was Def Jam. I thought so. Yeah. It was Def Jam for yeah, him? Def he Def was on Def Jam. Yeah, General Orders yeah. definitely came out Def Jam. Yeah. So it was mm. Universal. Mm. Like I was saying. Universal Def Jam. You know, y'all know how it goes. You and G just be on wild shit. They fucked yeah, up SoundCloud. So, now it's ugly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah SoundCloud was a gold mine. Bruh, how the fuck these niggas Ooh. come in this bitch and just fuck Same them. way they did MySpace. Everybody started blowing up off MySpace and MySpace went to shit. Booty. Well, Twitter and Facebook killed MySpace. Not really. So it did. How? MySpace was already on his way out. Yeah, though. I mean, it's, yeah. it's just Facebook listen. definitely killed MySpace. Yeah, yeah. Shit. No, no, no. Yeah. MySpace was already on his way out though, but Facebook wow. definitely just put the stamp yeah. on it. You know what I mean? You think it was on his way out? Yeah. Hell, I can definitely tell you, I got a Facebook because all the older kids had Facebook. Because it was only for like, I think, I think yeah. high school. Yeah, it was only for high schoolers. Yeah, I was still. But that's what I'm saying. It wasn't on the way out. Y'all was on the way out of it. It was still going. Because okay. everybody was, was going to Facebook. I was about to say everybody was transcending. The new thing was yeah. Facebook. How old are you? Twenty six. Yeah, see, y'all older than me. Y'all four years older than me, so like, it's different. Yeah. Yeah, Harry, I'm, I'm the 30-year-old yeah, nigga. Yeah, Yeah, I'm the 30, yeah. I'm 27, but I'm the, you I get called, if you want to, but I get called 30, 30 every wow. week. Now, actually, no, let me take that back. Depending on what you say during the show would determine your age. Oh, so, so Rosie T, a, so now yeah. so now what am I now since I called you Rosie T? You're as old as your opinions. What? <laughs> so, how, how old am I now since I called you Rosie T? Like a, you're childish, so you're like 10. Damn. <laughs> I'll take that over being 30. Pick one. 10 or 30. You can't be age. I'll be 10. Because I'm going to watch Spongebob when I get home. I'm 11 and a half. I'm only one year old. My birthday next month. All right. Let's talk about some shit. Not not talk about not shit. Um, (laughs) (laughs) No. Okay. So. It's a podcast. I'm used for it. Well, shit. Speaking of niggas canceling tours. Summer, Summer canceled her tour. So she I'm canceled gonna... some dates. Oh, some dates. Yes. Might as well cancel the tour, man. She wants to. You can tell. <laughs> she didn't want to do the tour in the first place. That's why it's called first and last tour. Yeah, we, we... That's what I was getting to. I was trying to segue in. They it. definitely canceled that right. nigga before. Who? I think he just said he was going to be back. Yeah, but he come back. He said he'd be back everywhere. When the last time he came back here? He said he like did a residency deal or some shit. He was joking. Yeah, he was oh. joking. He ain't doing a residency yeah. deal with Cam Flog, no. That was... Excuse me, that was trash though. I didn't like that they booed him. They yeah. that's that's entitlement at his final. Yeah, because he was performing some hits. How many weeks ago was Why this? did they boo him? Flogno? 
Fuck no, this happened. That, he just got boobs last Sunday night. We were already done recording when it was happening. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So that's why we that's didn't get the around. He was talking speaking on and off. Like yeah. the news, the news came out. I think like the day we dropped the next mm-hmm. last week's episode. Okay. Yep. All right. So now we can discuss it. Discuss. It. Um. But no, nah, I thought. I mean, everybody knows that I be I be having my Drake hating moments and shit. But like, as far as like an artist and like him having hits, I'm never gonna deny that. Zelly, uh, you only hate Drake in public. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. I only hate Drake in public. I, Drake no, in but public. Fit, bro, I've said countless times that like I just don't be liking the number one rapper shit that people try to like include him in. That's only that's the only thing I've ever like been against. But as far as like an artist and making R and B music, Drake is up there. So would you consider Drake a rapper or an R and B artist? Yeah, since you wouldn't even put him in like the number one. Would you okay? Would you put him on a rap list? Would you put Drake on a rap list? He hasn't. He doesn't have enough quotables for me to be like, "Oh man, like that was just that just like blew my mind when he said that." Like, <laughs> the sick turn the six upside down. It's a nine. That wasn't blow your mind. That wasn't that hard. That didn't make you. Dude, I'm not with the wrong wrong. My dad didn't blow your mind. I wasn't hiding my kid from the world. I was hiding the world from my kid. That didn't. That was. That was. Uh, Look at all these quotables. Trash. <laughs> Yeah, they're definitely trash. That was trash. <laughs> yeah, it's just like but no, but his, sing, but his singing shit. His, his singing shit be hitting, and he be. No, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. He be talking like some of his shit kind of be on that toxic nigga shit. Like, like niggas just be on bullshit and then try to come back and get the girl back. Oh, you can relate. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <That's crazy>. Wild. <laughs> so baffling. It's just like damn. Like when he, when he gets on that R and B shit. Oh no, man! I, I fuck with that R and B singing shit, nigga. But rap, rap. Not you don't even, even like R and B though. Yes, I do. Yeah, he Why does. Do you yes, keep he does. Playing this narrative. Yes, the only does. thing I've ever said is I'm not sure what R and B is. Trust me, I, we had R&B this discussion music. like years ago. He he likes R and B. He's just I just don't know it. Yeah. I, I wasn't impressed by it as yeah. a kid, but it's a vibe. Really? So yeah. listen, to, listening to it now. Cause you see, you've already told me. As a kid, you gotta give a fuck about. It. I wanted to hear bars. You, hear but, no. but cause, okay, so Malcolm, you told me you don't want me to make you a playlist. So from the R&B you've discovered, I don't want you to make me a playlist because you think Baby Boy's a classic. <laughs> Are oh you? You think Baby Boy's a classic? Yes. I'm being honest. You're that's sick. The You're sick. Yes. Seek the help that you need. I hate that. Hey, that thing was at the world premiere in theaters. That nigga best friend says baby mama think he doing something productive, but he be at Do Dirty House playing Madden. Nine <laughs> to five. That is so trash. This that was a funny. A that was a funny. That's, That's hilarious. <laughs> I've seen it too many times. I hate it. Yeah, what? okay. BET has definitely killed it. Killed, no, killed, yeah, the, killed the nostalgia. It, BET killed the nostalgia of it. Tyrese was a punk. He was a leech. BET can never kill ATL. That shit's still classic. That's dead. BET definitely doesn't play ATL as much as they play Baby Boy, though, because of it being such a good movie. They don't. They know better. That's the John Singleton fucking big black ball niggas. <laughs> wow, R.I.P. Relax. John Singleton. Relax. Relax. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, I oh. stop joking on people when they pass away. Do we have no, to? you don't have to. <laughs> like I'm not disrespectful. That wasn't disrespectful. It wasn't. It wasn't. I just had to say my statement. He didn't even say relax. I wanted to know. This for, this, I'm just curious because when I die, y'all can roast me. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I already figured out that once I die, this nigga Malcolm's never gonna. I know when I die, niggas are gonna be on my head. How about this ugly ass nigga T Rose probably would have been like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot speak at my funeral, all right? <laughs> my family is gonna. I never forget. Like my mom forced me to speak at my grandma's funeral, and I went up there and freestyled that shit. I did not have any. Oh, did you body it? Yeah, I killed kill it. it. You kill it. Oh, I killed it. How old were you? I didn't cry. How old were you? I was like. I was like 19. You said what? Did you get a tear for somebody else? Like my mom was crying and shit. Oh, you yeah. killed it then. Yeah, yeah you, you did the thing. But like, I, I definitely freestyled that shit. And I was, but I was really mad because like, didn't nobody else have to go up there and speak? Like, I was the only grandkid that had to speak. Mm. Are you the oldest? You the youngest or the oldest? You the host. The I'm like, kid. I'm like the same age as like two other motherfuckers who's like my, my age and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but did they go to college? You was the child. I didn't graduate college. Where did they go? One of them graduated. Oh, oh damn. damn. Yeah, she just wants you. Hey, up maybe there. you have. Maybe she saw something. Yeah, they just you. fucking picked me out like a little Jalen will do it. Like, <laughs> look where you at now, talking for the part for the people. Yeah, it's crazy how life works out. But exactly. that was that was trash in the moment though. Because I was really looking. I'm already prepared. knowing because I thought I was gonna have to speak at my uh, pop's funeral, but instead, you didn't speak? I, no, I was the consoler for everybody. You should have stole the mic. And like, hey. No, nah, my brother did that. He's he, you think I'm yeah, he he's wild. That nigga didn't even need a mic. He just got up and started talking. That's lit. That nigga said, That's "I don't right. need no mic. You know who I am." 
Oh, but anyway, <laughs> a word. I was like, yeah, this. Thing. Has um has Instagram started taking your guys' likes away yet? Nah. No. I thought that was supposed to happen last week. Maybe I thought it was too, and I was waiting for it to happen. I thought it was happen with an update. I didn't know. It was yeah, I, I saw the update, and I updated my shit quick as fuck. It's an update. Well, my shit's there was one out. Day, so I don't know. Yeah, there was one out like last Monday, I believe. They said it's only it's not supposed to show other people your likes, but you'll be able to see. It. So you can see oh, your yeah, likes, but yeah. you can't. Oh. See like other you can't. Like no one can see that you have thirty million likes on this picture, but you'll be able to see. It. So God. if it's working, I have to look at somebody else. Niggas gonna, gonna screenshot it and put it on their stories, though. Shit. You know that's gonna happen. Niggas about they definitely better start that screenshotting. Shit about to go into full swing. I already said what we about to do. <laughs> oh God, hey, let me say it again. If you miss it, you missed it. Yeah. You know, you know. Number one podcast in, yeah, in the country, game. nigga. Yeah, we number two right 55 now. million views. Yeah. Boom. I'm about to show the comments too. Oh my God, Jalen, you're so fucking funny. Nah, just turn the comments <laughs> off. Turn the comments off. Turn the comments off. So we can show the narrative fully. <laughs> hey, you know Janae turned the comments off? Janae? Yeah. Yeah. Janae Aiko? Yeah. Yes. Really? How would I, mean, I know? I'm about to say, how would he know? Yeah, she did block me. Why? But she didn't block me on IG. No, no reason. She blocked. I'm not following the bitch on Instagram. <laughs> she blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> I know you don't care what she got to say, so I know you're not tripping on Twitter, but you, well, you don't want to see some booty. I like the music. I wasn't even on her like that. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. I do like the music. Like the music. Niggas, was that's a, niggas, too many niggas was thirsty for it. Kind of turned me off, Janae. I can understand. Me. The music is well, yeah. <laughs> the hate me? Oh, yeah, he the nigga that said he was murdering nigga was for it. Nigga was yeah, <laughs> he was. That's the one that he was like, all right, I'm good. I don't even want to smoke with the niggas who want her. Like, oh, that's not changed. <laughs> <laughs> that's not changed. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, amazing. This. Um, we get no this wait, we never. I guess we never finished on the great getting booing. I get. I mean, I guess it's. Well, I mean, no, he did. Guess, he like, did fucking yeah. feel feel no ways. He did fucking uh, Wu Tang forever, bro. He did some shit that he would not normally do. Yes, in a concert, which is kind of weird. You, you Malcolm, you're tripping, fam. You gotta think about it from. I should be downtown whipping on the way to you. Okay, I'm not gonna do all that, but no, you, you got something that belongs to me. Let's stop. But Man, that's that's my shit though. Clearly. Oh, but um I tried with you. <laughs> Damn. Hey, I I felt that It's more it's more than life than sleeping in and getting high with you. I felt him when he said that. Bro, dude. I felt oh. Look, hey, get your dress back. <laughs> Let me know. What's your favorite Drake song? I really don't have one. Damn. I, I mean Drake. I couldn't I wouldn't be able to tell you either. He ain't got too he got too much music. I don't It's something off of uh take care. Oh, you don't like Drake? Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying I don't like him. I just don't care. Oh. There you go. I fuck if with it. Own, I listen. According to a stand, you hating, so, you know. Passion. Not, I, I probably have to say Passion Fruit. I like Passion Fruit a lot. That's your That's favorite? favorite one? That's one of my favorites. I don't have a favorite one. I I'm can't really say, call I'm not saying, nigga, he's been engaged. It's so nine, and that's it? If Passion Fruit comes on when I'm drunk. My favorite, okay. My favorite Drake song is probably, um, Look What You Done. Fire. Because whenever I see it come on, I'll be like, Oh, it's like oh nine in your basement. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a sentimental place. Hey, when, that shit came out, when that shit came out, I thought I had problems. Like, you know, you, nigga, take care. Drop everybody had problems. They didn't know they had like. <laughs> I had no problems. Nigga, I was like, oh days. shit! Didn't that anniversary just drop of the album? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw somebody say <laughs> happy ten years to the weekend. Facts. <laughs> Shout out to Abel, bro, because without you, we would not have to take care. And I don't care what nobody has to I thought that was pretty weekend. funny. That it's was pretty funny. <laughs> I love the weekend, too. I love the weekend, bro. I can't wait for chapter six. You know it's corny. Y'all don't even know why yet. <laughs> Dude, I love the weekend. Head ass. Okay, so. I'm about to get you. Oh, so, why are you does, dropping exclusive bombs, nigga? Damn. So does everybody, so does everybody, that, well, how does everybody feel about him getting booed? We haven't really discussed that yet. You don't care about him getting booed? No. Nope. Would you have booed if he was there? I wouldn't have went. <laughs> you wouldn't have went to Camp Flow, no? No. Oh, you don't like Tyler? I mean, he's nice. He's cool. So, who, what, what's, what's, what's in your Serato? What's in Perry Serato? Yeah, let's, you let's, get, no... let's get more into what you're vibing with. Yeah. Well, I'm really ghetto, for real. Um, <laughs> I like hey. a lot of Webby. That's A. You definitely um, said you went to Sweet 38. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like a lot of Webby. Uh, I just uh, heard Webby, I Love You by Boosie for the first time yesterday. Because that's his motherfucking nigga. Um, Yo Gotti. Okay. And 
I'm really into Ari Lennox right now. Hey, Ari is fire. Yeah. I cannot, I cannot turn like, Shea Butter Baby off. You know, she's like really like actually hilarious too. Yeah, she's she funny. Naturally funny. Have, you, have y'all, do y'all watch her? Like yes, I tune I into her Instagram live. I just be on Instagram. All the time. Yeah. I've seen her like, I've seen like clips from her. I don't follow her though. She's nah, she's, bro, she's funny as fuck, she's bro. Funny. And she's I funny. love her voice. It's so sweet. She can, she can really, really say, yeah, that's off of her like singing really good, but I just appreciate her being funny as fuck. She's like, I'm glad that, to you know, that yeah. soulful voice she is back. Nice and she thick as hell. As yeah, she is nice to look at. She like, she's baby. very... The perfect yeah, time. I know, she prayed. Yes. Never mind. Harry. <sighs> oh, and uh, Mary J. Blige. Auntie Mary. Auntie Mary. I love all wow. 90s music. You definitely 30. I was... 30, right? 30, right? So far... <laughs> what? But you said Yo Gotti and Mary J. Blige. You're 30 years like, old. I was on Yo Gotti in middle school. Listen, I left that nigga I'm behind sorry. along with the rest of his head. Yeah, no, it's fine. Being yeah, cultured it's means it's being cultured bad. means you're 30. So well, that's fine. I'm yeah. almost there any goddamn. Being yeah, cultured means you're 30. That's <laughs> no, that is a that's fucking lie. <laughs> then, then own it. Then own it. That's all. <laughs> That, that's what I'm. That's what I'm rolling with. Being cultured means you're 30, so don't don't take offense. Not gonna lie, you said you like ghetto music. My bad. You like ghetto music, so I'm yeah. thinking you was about. To, I was hoping <laughs> and praying that you was not gonna say this nigga, young boy, because I boy. cannot. You know don't you His dare. His song TTG. Chill out. Chill out. Train it's to go. Yes. Train to go. That's my shit too. That's my shit too. Hold on, man. For real. Hold on. You young PS4 on a YouTube playing young boy niggas who are running this niggas views up. Stop. Why you made a young boy for it? He's trash, bro. Why do people like this nigga? So, I mean, I kid you not, bro. Let me ask you this. Everybody get spicy now. If young boy was like, hey, hey, water. If you young boy young boy, you listen, just listen. Hey, 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 water. Unless Wayne. Hey, water. I'm about to be in the. Listen, listen. Hey, water. I'm about to be in the 317. You trying to be my motherfucking DJ, nigga? No. Damn. I'm denying that one. If he's paying you, I'm. Denying Whoa. that one, I can't. That's that's literally like. I'm not gonna lie. I would feel bad. NBA young boys like, hey Jalen, like, I need you to host my birthday party. I'm about to be hosting. That's that fine. Shit. You probably like them. I don't. I, I don't do care like NBA young boys. Cool no, he don't. He does. I heard almost everything possible. No, you don't like TTG. I don't like young boy. Wow. That nigga oh, should have never like started making music. Don't like the nigga, so you can't like his music. Mm. That's crazy, man. I don't care for the. So what if? So what if? What if like Cardi or Nudie hit you? You think I'm gonna say yes to them either? I mean, Nudy already got a DJ, and he's it's just cool. hypothetical. No, 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 because this might happen. Who's the DJ? <laughs> huh? Who's the DJ? His name is BJ. Who's the DJ? Follow, oh, so you, oh, so each other. you have a connect? Oh, you yeah. got the Nudy connect? His DJ. <laughs> you had the Nudy connect this whole time. We can't get a fucking interview. Nigga, I was just in Atlanta. You ain't tell yeah, me. Yeah, you was just, in Atlanta. Was just in, sure, in Atlanta. You didn't even make me check in and make sure I was straight when I was down there. Yeah. Who? That's crazy. Got his out here bad. Nigga, I said we follow oh, each other. Oh, I didn't say oh, I we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk about this more. We'll talk about this more off air. We'll talk about this more off air, man. Um, I said I'll follow these. More, more shit, to more shit to talk about on the podcast today. Um, I don't know who put this in there. Every game's going on tour. They're not coming to Indianapolis, yeah, so yeah, I don't really. Yeah, but that's trash. Are they not? No. Yeah. No. Every game is uh, with uh, Dreamville on J Cole's label. For those who don't know, yeah. If you don't know, you in the rock, but yeah, and they fire. But they're bringing Mick Jenkins with them. Who the fuck put Nick? Hey, 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 Irving Gang. This is so disrespectful. Hey, hold on, Irving Gang. Leave that nigga at home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> chill out. Chill out, man. I'd rather than take Speedo. Ain't nothing wrong with him either, damn. Chill out. You have been on Speedo's head for like the past two weeks now. It's funny, why not? <laughs> He's just one of the people that he likes to roast, that's all. That's all it is. So, do we have anything else to talk about them going on tour? Because T Rose got cool with Young Nudie, so I started to start roasting him. That's really wild that he's like he's connected I'm like cool that. Cool with Young Nudie? I don't know that nigga. And you know, I'm a big fan. That's what's fucked up. Like, all right, I'll I'll t- I'll, I'll DM you could have got me slime ball on vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> I First of all, say, what I like ask for an album called Slime Ball. I okay. couldn't ask. I couldn't like say that with a straight face. I'm never buying Young Nudie on vinyl. <laughs> what was the gift though? You know he got. I mean, I would take it for like a collectible item. I'm not about to play it on my record player. I'm not finna go out, oh. look for Slime Ball on vinyl, and buy it with my certain, heart. Just certain music doesn't sound good on vinyl to me. Mm. And that will definitely be one of them. Yeah. Like I don't. I, like I don't want to hear Travis Scott on vinyl. I don't oh, hear, I don't want to hear Chief Keef on vinyl. And I do yeah. Chief Keef. I don't want to hear Chief Keef on vinyl. But you I can't tell you that motherfucking hard on vinyl right there. 
What damn? Yes, sir. Yeah. I, I can imagine. Yes, sir. I can imagine. <laughs> um, I bet. Now to get really fucking juicy oh, on this podcast. Bum, bum, bum. You guys heard about the huh? We need a new adjective. Juicy makes me uncomfortable a little bit. But earlier you said them cookies got your pussy wet. You did say that. That was off air. We don't speak about those things. <laughs> that definitely was <laughs> off air. But that still said crazy. it though. She did me like that. <laughs> still said it. Make you uncomfortable. Yeah, you see? That's crazy. <laughs> she, she put you in your own situation of uncomfortability. <laughs> this man was so crazy, <laughs> Um. I like to say many men wish death mm. upon me. <laughs> so. <laughs> but. Amarion. Marion's baby mother, April. I don't know her last name. Jones. April Jones. Touch. Her name is April Marion. Touch. Is Jones. Is uh, currently wait, dating. Wait. <laughs> can I can I inform the people of the situation? Everybody knows. I'm about to okay. say everybody knows. What the okay, but let me set it up though. I'm the only nigga who just learned out. Let me let me set it up. All right. All so, Amarion, Amarion's old bandmate from B2K, Lil Fizz, is dating his child's mother. April Jones, um, and things are looking pretty serious. He's taking pictures, rubbing on her booty seductively. That's his bitch. They, got, bum, they, bum, got, bum. Um, they got multiple kids, right? Two. Yes. And not only are they taking pictures, they are in a now public relationship. Yes. Yeah. And it's been brewing on Love and Hip Hop for a while. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Um, Wait, but Lil Fizz not on Love and Hip Hop, is he? Yes, he is. Is he? Did he take a Mario spot? No, he's been on Love and Hip Hop. They both on it? Oh, yeah. I ain't never seen him on there when he was in B two K. I didn't even so, know he was on there because his baby mama. You know. oh, I'm gonna say, I didn't April. know that was even a thing. No, her name Monique. <laughs> um. So <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So the this. Is it pronounced pregnant still? Can we, please? <laughs> pregnant. Please. All right, come on, guys. Let's um, stay on topic for yeah, let's just stay on topic. Let's stay on topic. Yeah, niggas trying to get off topic and shit. We're talking about niggas. Oh, fucking yeah, with we talk about yeah, we're talking about niggas about. fucking with niggas who they supposed to be cool with, like old work. Uh, well, that's that's his old work then. I mean, they wasn't really friends. They was. Hey. Do, you, do you do you believe that? Did they just go on tour the other day? Yeah, to get some money. So you don't think they was really tight like that? They, they was said tight enough wasn't. to get some money. Nigga, have you have that's you seen it. the They've interview with Amarion? Like he said, I this. feel like Amarion was just like no, playing that's along. I don't think established. Yeah, it's already play along with shit. Oh, so they they really really wasn't tight like that. They Whoa. just they it was a work what they relationship. Do to get some money. Even I'm talking about even in like the B2K days yes. too. It was a work relationship. Yes, yes that's it. <laughs> what we're trying to tell you. <laughs> but is it a work relationship? Was they getting raped or is this a different group? They wasn't the ones getting raped. It was the other. They, nigga. B2K was allegedly they was getting played with by Chris raped. Stokes. Because uh, Raz B, Raz B was getting nigga, yeah. messed with. Okay, let's get B2K's roster down so us later 90s babies know what the fuck Okay, so B2K on. consists of Amarion, Little Fizz, J Boog, Raz B. Uh, Raz B. That's it. It's only four niggas. It's four niggas, yeah. It's four niggas. That's it. Now, don't, ask me, don't ask me why I know them all by name. Nah, you should. You got serve. You right. That was my shit. Yeah. How Amarion and Little Fizz escaped the dick? The rumor has it that they y'all got touched. That's just rumors, though. Rumor. Yeah. Now we know for for sure Raz B got hit. Okay, so that's why he got off the tour. I was about to yeah. say, wasn't it just He like, left and came back though? Yeah. He left, came back. He just had He needed the bread. Yeah. yeah. That's all. He's definitely just there for the bread. <laughs> I, I find it hard to believe that they wasn't like close at one point why? in time. Why though. is it so hard to I'm believe? Say, you go to work with people you don't fuck with every day. Yeah, but that's completely That's shit. a whole different that's dynamic. Hard to live with no. niggas. That's hard enough to be around niggas like Hours and hours at a time, not only at the studio, uh, press runs, at video shoots, at photo shoots, tour, at tour, like it happens all the time. Mm-hmm. You don't think that's corny, though? No, I don't. I think they was getting some money because they needed it. I mean, to but like, build? do I think it's corny that he's fucking his bandmate's baby mama? Yes, that's their business. I'm but not you, gonna but... judge nobody. It ain't me. <laughs> hey, if they're not friends, then fuck it. Yeah, I mean, they're not. And friends. that's literally what. They both said Fizz and Amari. I see, and that and said, okay, so because I put that in the group, was it looked like he was confused because Vlad asked him. He was like, "Were y'all not cool? Like, did y'all not have a cool?" That's what I'm saying, and that's why I was saying. Amari, I was like, he didn't know how to answer the question. Uh, uh, and then Vlad helped him out a little bit. He was like, Fizz said that no, y'all had more, no more than a working relationship. And then Amari, I was like, he was like, I guess so. That's what it was. Like he wasn't, Amari, wasn't really saying that. That's why I was getting that. It was talked about I think the last season. Yeah. When 
J. Book had came back, like, when they first did the whole tour and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Oh, is this Love Hill? Lil, yeah, Lil, <clears throat> okay. Lil Fizz and J. Book even discussed that Omarion was just always off on his own thing. Really? Like, you know, they was all cool. Him, Omar, uh, well, Lil Fizz and J. Book had the closest relationship out of everybody. Mm. Rasby fucked up in the head, and then Omarion just did on what his he wanted to do. That's it. Got you. So they like, uh... And in a sense, if you can look at it, cause I mean, I'm, but I don't think Amari never had a David Ruffin moment. Boy. Nah, definitely <laughs> at all. This is right now because they ain't coming to see That's you. Oh, right <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going on right they now. Coming to see yeah. me because look, Amari can hit a tour. Lil Fizz can't. Facts. Amari can hit a tour right now. He was like, they ain't coming to see you, nigga. Lil Fizz is going to love him. I mean, but Lil Fizz was just a. his heart used to be all over. Lil Fizz was just a failed rapper. Unfortunately. Wait, he's a rapper? Yeah, he was yeah, a rapper. The yeah, rapper. they all wasn't singers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> you didn't know that? Fizz. He like he's about to say that shit. <laughs> Little yeah. Fizz. He was the rapper. I gotta download a B2K album. You need to download Pandemonium. <laughs> no. Oh don't waste God. don't waste your time. Fire. Don't waste your Pandemonium. time. Pandemonium. Hey, chill out, bro. Dude. Pandemonium was a slapper. It was. Chill out. I'm gonna write a fake movie. I had that one. B2K. That one and Little Bow Wow. Oh, you had a B2K album? B2K and Bow Wow at the same time. But where a dog, Pandemonium. Mm, I definitely yeah. have Where a dog. Where a dog was my shit. Exactly. Bow Wow Wow, nigga. Hey, bum, for, bum, uh, bum. For, for Superstar Day in second grade, I was Bow Wow. Oh. You had the braids and everything, bro. My mom. <laughs> my, <laughs> my mom. No, I went to Guy. My, my mom. My mom. <laughs> my mom got me like some like some weave. And, like, oh, she taped man. it like to like the back of the bandana. <laughs> I tied it on my head. Hey, stop. stop. Hey, oh, my God. Jalen, we can't do this podcast no more. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sure you gotta let know, hey, which know. jersey did you throw on? Because I thought you had an oversized jersey. jersey. I had a Cowboys jersey on. Oh, yeah. Right. So, Cowboys Emma Smith Moving jersey. on. I was fresh as fuck that day. I had some Iverson on, too. Mm, mm, oh, you had that? Niggas, <laughs> niggas couldn't tell me shit. Mm. It's a good day in school. This shit was really wild. fake braids to your head. It was, no, it was like on a. She had she taped them like to like a back of a bandana, and I tied a bandana around my head and the wet in the uh, braids like on my back. He was out here looking like Shamar Moore of Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Damn near, but you couldn't see like the top of my head. You couldn't see the back. That is so foul. <laughs> that is so foul. I really gotta learn. My mom, my mom really started to do it yourself, way. If you think about it. Oh no. shit, Shamar Moore braids on. That's a flame. I gotta use that joke on somebody. Whoever got braids is definitely on. Um, yep. Yeah, so if I grow my hair out, you on? Um, I'm yeah, on you, right. Shamar Moore. I'm it's on. crazy. Or whatever that nigga name was in the movie. So nobody feels that uh, Fizz is wrong. I mean. I feel like there's just like a certain guy called like. At this point, after seeing the Omar on interview, I can't even be, I can't even feel any way if I was to feel way. But I didn't care about it at first. I didn't even, that wasn't in my bit. Like, I didn't give a fuck. Well, just know if we ever break up, I'm not talking to anybody's old work in this room. That's fine. All right. If we ever break up. Yeah, if we ever break up. The podcast. Yeah, if we ever break up or if we ever. If uh, if one of y'all goes on Love and Hip Hop. No, wait, 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 no. If the podcast breaks up, some type of drama gotta happen. Like, it ain't gotta be real, real bad. But, like, only in the public eye. So we can come back from it and be like. Do a reunion tour? Be like the Jackson 5 after Mike got his shit together. Mm-mm. And then Mike got his shit. Mike had his shit together. Mike had his shit. And he was like, no, no. Exactly. Relax. Relax. What other shit? His face, nigga. Oh, my God. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> Are you talking about after he burned his hair? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's a difference. Oh, y'all thought I was talking about some other shit? I thought you, yeah. Definitely. I didn't know what you was. There was so much other shit there. I was like, what yeah. specific yeah. other no, shit? No, I was talking about, yeah, Pepsi shit. When he burned his hair? Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Poor Mike. That, that's, that's really fucked up. It was. Bruh. That's fucked up. I mean, tell me all them times. I did that shit. Have you guys heard about the Monique situation with Netflix or someone Netflix? Yeah, that's been going on for years. No. I think it's finally like um, coming to an end. Getting like starting to like move now. Though. Um, like, did she talk about this like two years ago? Though? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was talked about two years ago, but it's finally taking action now. She got like a lawyer <coughs> and shit. Um, and I guess she's basically suing. Basically, the same shit that was going on, like bringing up how. They threw Amy Schum- Schumer to bed. Wait, before we get into it, has anyone seen Amy Schumer stand up? No. I don't think no. she's funny, so I have. All right, so go ahead. Cause well, no, I'm just saying that, those were her points. Like they no, gave, I understand that. I'm yeah. just saying that, like, 
They wasted that money because anybody seen that shit. We probably yeah. seen him on Netflix by now. It's been two years. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for I mean, sure. She's nice in movies, but I don't like her enough to watch a stand up. But so like, her, if, her stand-ups like, are actually like, funny though. Or something, or somebody would have been watching it. You would have seen some of it over the past two years if she would have if they'd have given her some money instead of Andy Schumer. I mean, clearly she has the views and the ratings for them to feel like she's worth that much. I just personally have never watched her stand up. Really? I would rather watch Monique. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, me too. I've never seen one either. I've never even seen nobody. I don't even know nobody who's seen it. That's why I want to start asking yeah. y'all. Yeah, and Mo- Monique's stand that, and that's what kind of fucked me up too. Like Monique has a good track record of like making good content for stand up. Hell, she was on fucking Comic View. Definitely. Yeah. Facts. Did she uh, not host it for a stint? She, I think she did. I was gonna say for like a season or something. Yeah. Um. She did Comic View. She was on the Queens of Comedy tour. Um, Hilarious. Yeah. Like just straight bangers. So. She was, she was, she was. I, I, I hope she gets her money. And <clears throat> Netflix needs to get it the fuck together, too. Because uh, Disney. What specifically is she suing them for? Like, what exactly? The, basically, like, not. I, not. It's discrimination. Yeah, discrimination, yeah, discrimination in a nutshell. Okay. I don't want to say the wrong term of what yeah, it's actually exactly called. Like but the wasn't there in a, a nutshell, it's discrimination, though. Yeah. Wasn't there a male comedian that did, was on this same wave? That sued Netflix? I don't know if he like got to that point, bro. I feel like there was a male comedian that was on the exact same thing. He was claiming how he just like didn't get enough bread for the shit, but from Netflix, yeah, bro, it might have been. Something if Netflix else, throws a bag, like they throw a bag. A doing this, like it had to be some. Because the initial issue with I think of Terry Crews. No, he was against. Well, he had an issue because uh, oh boy grabbed him at that party, and he let it slide. Because he was white. You got to relax. Mm-hmm. You got to relax because when you're in certain rooms, you can't do certain shit because that'll sabotage your, char- your character. And they can paint a whole different narrative and get hey, you the fuck up out of here. I'm paint that narrative and I'm going to tell you the story. And that nigga was going to never get an acting gig again. Hey, you're going to get one. He was going to get one. He Probably from Tyler Perry and Spike Lee. That's, that's it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's all you need, though. What? That's what I'm trying to tell you. What you just said. What you mean? Because you said you can't do that because of the consequences. Like, fuck them white people. Oh, you, you you were agreeing with me or disagreeing with me? I agree with you. Oh, well, you've disagreed. You've been on the other side of that when I'm trying to give you that same advice. When it was brought up initially? Oh uh, no, just in like other situations. You're right though. Yeah. I, Cause I be never mind. We're not gonna talk about that. Fuck the white people. Um, mm-hmm. he could he could have still held his. Yeah, I don't. I don't. T. Rose really said that white people, not me. So if you're looking to invest or have us do ads. <sighs> Look, the white people that I just said. I love, uh, I I love um, green bean casserole. I love green bean casserole. So this nigga loves unseasoned chicken. So I do. You're sick. They're they're bringing the ad to the podcast. I love all that shit. (laughs) Invite me for Thanksgiving. (laughs) What? What? Don't invite me, nigga. Invite all of us for Thanksgiving. That nigga. All right. I'm bringing the whole podcast for Thanksgiving. Always makes what I say worse. Green bean casserole, though, for real. I don't for like real? green bean casserole, but... <laughs> I'm finna say... If they, if they want me to like it, I'm gonna yeah, like it that day. I do like potato salad, for real. That's trash. Really, nigga? <gasps> no, potato salad is fire. Fuck what y'all talking about. You don't fuck potato salad? No, I do not. Who ate the potato salad? At the barbecue? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely me. Said, yeah, that was me. That was I think Tyler got a picture of me holding it. <laughs> I got a whole <laughs> video of you reviewing it. I gotta fix my life. <laughs> oh, man. man. I like had the potato salad review on camera. That's what wow. Okay. Um, fuck. What else? What was after this B2K shit? Well. We Lakeith Stanfield. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lakeith Stanfield. Okay. Did you see his Instagram live yesterday? I didn't watch live. I watched his response video, but can we talk about what oh, that made him? Live? But if it it was on Instagram live for, not a lot, but uh, the Instagram TV the, show. IGTV, yeah. But he took see, it down, they, though. They got that, yeah. I, they'd be Ooh. confused with that. Lakeith, Lakeith, Stanfield. Lakeith Stanfield. From Atlanta and get out. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, yeah, yeah. I know he is, but what, what's going on with him? Like, yeah, him and Charlotte. Okay, so he made a post basically saying that um a lot of black outlets like uh, the Shade Room. I don't think he made the post. I think he just reposted it. Or he reposted it, but then he like have like some commentary to it though. Yeah, his yeah. his um his uh, caption on the post. Yeah. yeah. Um. Damn, I wish I don't have it up right now. This is this is Lakeith. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So he, did he initially post well. something and then Charlamagne responded and that's where it came from? Charlamagne responded Pretty with much. a donkey the other day. Mm. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I gotta catch me up. I didn't know about that one. I've been so off my Breakfast Club shit, but honestly, 
don't even see it on his Instagram anymore. Here we go. I got it. I got it right here. Uh, the the post reads the shade room, lipstick alley, breakfast club, world star, and many others are so anti black. He reposted this, and then his commentary or his caption said, "It's a fact that a lot of these platforms are usually or tend to be feeding grounds for negative reinforcement toward black nonconformists." In quotation marks, they bolster false vanity and hold a white supremacist scope over black men and women, often highlighting negative attributes and downplaying mind expanding ones. I think he meant to say they serve as bottomless coward consumption pits in digital audio or otherwise slave mentality museums at all you want. I mean, I think that meant to say mentioned all you want. Um, so then Charlemagne basically responded, basically saying, um, I'm pro black. I do this and this for black people. Um, you got me fucked up. That's what Charlemagne yeah, said. Don't bite the, the show. black hand that could feed you. Yeah, that's why people stop fucking with you. I mean, I agree with Lakeith, by the way. Like, I, I, I don't follow the Shade Room. I don't follow none of them. They were always corny to me. Ro- and, like, and if I really think about if I really think about it, Royal Star was definitely toxic. And it definitely, Hell like, yeah. shined light. It still light. is. Yeah. Royal Star yeah. is toxic right now. I'm about I mean, say- yeah, it is. But I'm saying, like, back in the days when niggas used to actually go to WorldStarHipHop.com. Yeah. Like, that was... I, I, I used to go just to watch the fight compilations. I still yeah. watch the fight compilations. I'm about to say, I used to watch that nigga Kimbo Slice beat niggas up in his backyard. Well, I'm talking yes. about like like videos of like. I know fight compilation, but I'm saying like when I went to World yeah. that's what I was on. Yeah. Watching that and music. Like, yeah. But I'm more so meaning like them highlighting like us fighting each other and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And, but we still watching it, so. I'm about to say technically. <laughs> no, I don't understand the outrage. You still watching it. You're black. Oh, I'm definitely watching Tart Twain. I think his 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 outrage is just that <laughs> we they they show more of us tearing each other down and us building us ourselves yeah, up. Definitely. They, yeah, definitely. He's right on that. He's right. Yeah. I mean, that's right. Then start putting out some more positive black shit. Then. I you mean, one person one see. person can't do that by themselves. Been, he's actually been doing pretty well at that. I'm yeah. not saying it's like him just alone. It's it's all on him. Yeah, but to, to all the people who are just this is just degrading. Well, do something to fucking about it. <laughs> yeah, but then it goes back to like, what do the masses of us want to see? And that's what the sad part is: the masses of us want to see, see niggas getting beat up. The okay. masses of the masses then don't want. At that wanna... point, everybody just need to shut the fuck up. I don't think you that's a fair posi- approach. Yeah, it is. You want to see positive things, but you don't want it to be all on you. But then the masses want to see negative shit that you are actually watching yourself. So what is the point? Well, that's because the masses only care about money and, like, people don't think positivity is cool right now. And the masses are actually going to go with whatever is being shown to them. So if, let's just say, for example, that everybody on that list was to just start blasting the timeline with a bunch of positive shit, the masses is going to conform to it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it's really on them. Because they've already got the following. Definitely. Exactly, and they made they follow and it, giving people what and they I think, wanted. Like to further get, reach out on his point too, like that's important for them to do that because fam, like TMZ don't ever report positive shit about black people, Not bro. At all. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. And I think Charlamagne took that shit way too personal. He did. Way. He did that shit way too personal. He did. And like, it kind of makes me look at it with a side. Like, honestly, the way but... he came at him, like, is making me think that. His white bosses made him say Yeah, I was going to say, it's, like, it gives me a side eye with Sean like, Bay a little bit. It's like, bro, why? About, you would never say that to the white people and blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm sure your white bosses probably put this on your list as you to talk about today. Yeah, that yeah, that that was definitely a forced dunk here today. A forced one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's had a couple. He's had a couple. Because they moments brought, like, yeah, them niggas are definitely anti-black. But I don't want to hear Jalen support none of this shit, to be 100% honest. Cause this is the same shit I be talking about when we talk about music, and you just be like, "It's lit, fam! It's lit, fam! It's lit, fam! It's lit, fam! It's hard, fam!" All right, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. No, I'm dead ass. No, you flipping the whole script. No, now you jump inside. No, it's not the same shit. No, that's the outlet that's being. Fam, if I me listening to Playboy Cardi, and. Enjoy and having a good I time. I never have talked about you not, listening to it. It's all about you supporting it and then speaking. I, on fam, it. I don't. I don't walk I around. I don't walk around you like. You come on the podcast every time we talk about it, and you talk about how it's hard. Yes, it's good this music to me. It's good. Like, it's good music to me. But in the same token, I'm not sitting back saying that that's a fucking lifestyle it, to live. It, that's not saying that you should live by that lifestyle though, at I all. I Understand that, but that's different. They're not saying that either. But you just agree that. They're anti black. People who are actively going they're out watching the shit. TMZ's not saying you should live this lifestyle. They're just posting it. 
insane. Bro, TMZ 100% attacks niggas, bro. And no, niggas he's, attack themselves and yeah. music. What are you saying? It's the same thing, bro. He's saying it's the same thing. It's the different, same thing. Different, different fields. So I so I shouldn't be able to listen to Playboy Cardi and agree with no. Lakeith Okay, so how we just said they can do that. I'm just, no, I'm just, I'm just asking. I can't agree with Lakeith Stanfield and listen to Playboy Cardi. No, you be you can, but you be hypocritical and you be coming. Yeah, I'm not saying you can all day. Do what you want to do, you but you're, 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 it's a contradiction for sure. You're picking and choosing when you want to stand on that side of the fence. Let okay, so let that. me ask you this: You listen to Nudie, right? Fam, it's fucking music. I'm not going out and shooting niggas and robbing niggas, bro. It's media. It's media. You're not, selling drugs. You're not going to go out there and beat a nigga with a chair, are you? But you just seen it on Instagram and t- uh, Twitter and shit like that, are you? Right? No, I'm not. Nice. Okay. That's what he's saying. Yes, bro. It's just like media. <laughs> exactly. It's just media. What do you mean? Music is media, nigga. Fam, you can go and search for a Playboy Cardi song. These niggas... The shade you room and shit. Follow shade room the sh- on Instagram. If it the shade that shit is like shared to people in multiple different ways. Is though. music not? Music. Is music not? Yes. How do you share music? Is. How do niggas get big? It's shared. Exactly. Shared. Tell your friends to tell a friend to tell a friend. Talked about. Bro, bro, you can't put the shade room in. I feel like what? you don't want to no. see the point. I'm about to say, I, yeah. No, that's, that, doesn't like make, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. He comes up, he does this. All right, so let me ask. That doesn't, that okay. doesn't make sense. Okay, so you listen to Nudie, right? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so what the hell do Nudie be talking about his raps? Fucking bitches and smoking weed and if niggas haven't fucked up, they haven't handled his business. Okay. So, and, be, and being a blood. What part of that is uplifting black people? In any way, shape, or form. I mean, he gives money back to his community. No, what part of the song? What part of the music? Not, don't. Forget everything. So do y'all just want nigga. like all the Atlanta trap niggas to like make a no, we are the world? Hell it, stop. Like, stop. I'm yeah. just, I'm, that's why that's why I'm asking. It's a narrative. It's, it's a contradiction. Stop. Just let all right. It's let's... the same thing. We got you. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. But you gotta understand that you're contradicting yourself. Yes, that's all cool. we get. That's literally all we get in that, bro. Nobody's telling you stop. No, I would like you to stop. But that's none of my business. That's neither here nor there. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Just recognize that. Just, just recognize admit it. it. Admit it. Because admitting it is the first step. You gotta admit it. If you're not gonna admit it, then we are gonna have this conversation down there every week. And this is the nigga with the young nudie connect. Now we back on that. Now that's what you got it, out fuck of this. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> I said that whole thing, and all you heard was titties. That's crazy. No, I, I mean, I, I, I get no, I no, I, I do, I get you guys' point. Um, do you? No, I do, but. I'm, <laughs> Well, you what? can get it. Uh, you can um, follow me on Instagram. Or we're, we're done. Cosmetics. No, no. I said where can he you, asked the question because you were still talk about bullshit. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, <laughs> I, no, I was. I was following up on. I was about to uh, answer. Uh, answer the question. We get back to Jalen. Okay. okay. Go, go ahead. Go. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that nigga's face, yo. <laughs> Blood Cosmetics is on Instagram. That's B L V N T and then Cosmetics and on Facebook. You can email me at bluntcosmetics at gmail and I get you together My in the Indianapolis you. area. But I will be shipping soon. Do you want them you wanna give them your home address so they can mail you a blunt? Uh no. Damn. You got a PO box? No, I don't. Well, you shouldn't mail blunt to a PO box. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. I don't want I, I didn't to think about it for I said. I'm about to say don't mail me. Yeah, we're not a legal state no. yet. Wait on it. Yeah. No. That's gonna be a long ass time to wait. Long ass wait, nigga. <laughs> you think so? We should have that conversation here because I don't. Six hundred forty-five. I, I don't think. Put on this for next week. What are you talking about? Okay. okay. I don't think it's happening anytime soon, bro. Really? Every state in the Midwest except this one is legal. Within ten. Mm. Within ten years. Within ten. For sure. Kentucky ain't legal yet. Within ten. Kentucky not legal. Will be, probably. The Kentucky and Ohio don't got marijuana yet. Just no Michigan, no kind of way. Not even medical. I don't believe so. Not even decriminalization. Yeah, of... just just Michigan and uh, Illinois right now. Hmm. I thought I swore Ohio was. I was about to say I feel like Ohio decriminalized. Yeah, bro. I feel like Ohio wrong. was on something, bro. I might be wrong though. I might be wrong then too. Cool. I know for a fact Indiana is just dead. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you in Marion County. You better not get caught with shit. Yeah, don't get caught with a damn thing. So. You hear that, folks? If you're at the Brother Guys podcast, we care about you guys' well being. Even if you listen to Young Nudie, you can, you know what I'm saying, tell your listeners to look up to you to not ride around with marijuana and other shit that might get you fucking locked up and put in bad situations. All right. Yeah, all you nudie fans. I should I should do a fucking uh say no to drugs campaign. <laughs> that would be lit. Like the Michael Jordan one. Just say no. 
Stop it. Get some help. Get Stop some help. No. We need that on a drop. Fuck them kids. Um. <laughs> Now we talked about this Rodney Reed situation last week. Um, you said yeah. who? Rodney Never Reed. Oh, okay. um, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely uh, shut that shit down. No. Oh, I got it. Okay. So, Rodney Reed situation. This is a black man who is. Oh, I'm leaving. sorry. I heard about that. Okay, the Texas and the chick got murdered. Yeah. And okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. He was. Correct. I believe so. Okay. Um, Damn. He was sentenced to the death penalty. He was supposed to be put down. Was it over the weekend? Didn't mm-hmm. see a dog? 20th. <laughs> November 20th. He was supposed to be put down. Is that not the right 20th. term? No. He was supposed, to, he was be supposed to be executed. Legally. Is that the same oh, thing? No. Put down is like a fucking family dog that has cancer. You know, <laughs> yeah, they can get executed too. We got an old yellow of this nigga. They can get executed. Tried to airbutt my nigga right. It's a dog that can execute it. No, he can't put down. He gets put down. But yeah, is that still lethal injection, or? Right? He's euthanized. Yeah. yeah. He's supposed to be euthanized. Let's put. So Roddy Reed's about to get. He's about to, all right, I'm, we're not joking about this. There's no jokes. No, it's he was. We can talk about no. I'm about to say he's. He, he living. I don't want to. I don't want to say. She made me feel bad for saying put down. Now. Don't feel no. bad. Don't, <laughs> don't feel bad. I'm just saying it's not a dog. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> all right, so Rodney Reed was almost about to get executed. But he's not. Because us as American citizens. Yeah, we, we stopped that shit, man. So fucking round of applause, man. I believe he had a little help. Shout out to everybody who found the. Uh, did y'all sign the petition? I did. Yes. I didn't call the phone numbers. They told me to call, though. I felt. No, I did not. I didn't I did. sign, though. Yeah. I couldn't, I, I couldn't do it. Because I would have like, been like, you motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I called it, I was like, it's just, it's just going to be bad. You would have been a lot of conversation. Yeah. Behind your voice. Yeah. You honky bitch. And you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Now with me, I, I don't know here lately. I've just been whole, with the whole presentation thing. With the way something's presented to me mm-hmm. or by me, it's just all in a matter of how it's presented. Will play a part in how somebody's going to respond. Whether that response be from me or them. And that's, yeah, that's happened a lot over here lately. So, I feel like, yeah, that presentation, it wouldn't have went well if I would have called them numbers, for sure. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm definitely happy for him. Definitely happy for him. Um, how long is the? Did they like order a, um, a stay of execution? Yes, they did. I don't yeah. know for how long. That's also to say, how long is that supposed to? Be? They didn't. Yeah, they still reopen the case. Yeah, I was gonna say they might be looking back. Yeah, well, the I heard they're supposed to be trying to reopen it because they got some evidence that proves that he's innocent. He's innocent. Yeah. So. Innocent of murder because I. Read yeah, he. Yeah, that, like, the chick right? he was messing with got murdered, and there was like semen left inside of her. But his semen matched with it, but like him and her had a consensual relationship. She was cheating on him. Oh, oh. she was cheating on her husband with him. Oh. Mm-hmm. And her husband had a hit. Has a hit. Everybody thinks her husband did it. Rightfully so, right? Yeah, her husband has a uh, was in hell. Got sent to prison for fucking assaulting a woman, and the woman mm-hmm. called the cops, and he showed up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's a former officer and shit, and uh, had other instances where he had women make complaints about him. And shit. Oh, so the husband was an okay officer. To kill your person you marry if they cheat on you. Wait, wait, That's wait, wait, wait. not okay. Uh, no, I'm not. Because why? Yeah. Repeat that statement. Till you said it way too unborn. fast. You said it way too fast. That's why. It was some quick. Repeat bullshit. the statement again. I, say, I'm lost, I'm lost. I said, "Is it not okay to kill the person you marry if they cheat on you?" That's not okay. Is it? Leave. There's no point. Yeah, just leave. But that's not what we agreed to. Me and you spoke in front of God. This. Smoking for the guy and everybody else. And my family. T Rose, you're not killing your wife if she's So you want to go to you. prison just because she cheated on That's not what I'm saying. Her. I'm not talking about the uh, the after effects. I'm talking about up until this or the repercussions. Just to or kill the legality me. of it because, like, come on now. Who follows, you know, the law? Like, come on. That shit <laughs> works for white people. <laughs> mm. So I'm just saying, like, no. morally, I feel like. That's perfectly fine because as grown adults, we both agree to this. And you Things know change. Things change. That's when you get a divorce. That's not when you cheat. Facts. That's yeah. when you get a divorce. Well, then why not get a divorce after they cheat? Because nah. after can't change before. At this point, you committed a sin, so now I got the right to kill you. Exactly. People I think that's why couples day. get into open relationships People and just swing. Day. You said this is why. Wait, wait, wait. This is why so couples don't make a savior. This is why couples mm, like agree I mean, to be swingers. Mm, you know what I meant. Mm. <laughs> Preach. Hold on. I, I, I don't think I heard what I said. For the people in the back. Two sins don't make a savior. 
this is really this is why people are swingers and in open relationships. That's why people tune in to the high Well, shit. people are swingers because they just like to swing. They just like fucking. Yeah. And they maybe get tired of their partners and their partners be on the side. I never shit. got like how niggas are insulated watching their wife get fucked. Bro, that shit kinky mm. than a bitch. That's an ego thing. I would how I would be ready to kill a nigga. That's you. I, like, it poof. makes them feel good that someone else wants to poking their wife. Yeah. yeah. A nigga is poking your wife. He I'm fine like, with knowing someone wants my wife without them actually. Yeah, like, I, yeah, like what? That's your personal barrier. So people they like are to over. See that. that turns them on sometimes. Yeah. Hey, and sometimes you the nigga. Agree with this? Fuck no. But I'm just telling you, you what the fuck it is. Bro, chill out. That's different. Right. Tiro's in the cuckoo yeah. group chat. <laughs> That's different than swinging. That's, so That's watching your wife get fucked, isn't it? No. Swinging is they're both fucking other people in the say, same bro, room what? at the same swinging time. Swinging is we switch partners. We swing to another. <laughs> switch! Yeah. You feel me? We swing to the That's next. That's just the orgy in your wife there. No. Tip or tap. Kind of. Tip or tap. I feel like swingers go to orgies. That's what it takes. I mean, technically that is. Of us? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Like, run that back. <laughs> like if it was an event, and like if we invited others, obviously it wouldn't be us, just us. Like, no, I think orgy was the was very going? wrong no, turn to there. you. Bro, I'm definitely absent. What the fuck? I'm not pulling up to a podcast orgy. Like that's sick. Wait, what if we bought it from the orgy? We yeah, are they, are they? Are they like? Is it like all female podcasts and just us? It would. First of all, I would hope. That it was? Yeah, because I'm not going Nigga, to that. If I mean, <laughs> like, if it's like three for a dollar, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not showing up. That's crazy. I'm not showing up. I mean, if lift service pulled up, that's a different story. Yeah, that's a different you story. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. different. It's like four or five of them. Yeah. Or if Rihanna just made a podcast. <laughs> you want a Fenty podcast up, Rihanna? Bless this man. If you, having a, man. if you have a Fenty orgy, I'm definitely a in that Fenty. bitch. <laughs> I'm Wait, I have a queen radio uh, and a brother. Nah, she, I, I, I should probably annoying her sex. Bro, she annoying in life. Exactly. Like, period. What did I tell y'all about my queen? I don't give a damn about your queen. That's the queen of rap. Get out of here. <laughs> what we got next? Her and Drake, queen of rap. We, I think Drake has her beat. But then, bit, he, he, you know. It's like it's both of theirs. They just keep the crowd at Drake house. Bet. I feel it. Mm. I feel it. That makes a lot of sense, though. That makes a lot more sense. It's so funny to make fun of Drake, but that nigga make really good music. But wait, 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 wait. We brought Nikki up not to finally ask. Is this, she, she really pregnant? No. That was fake. She, I mean, that was fake for the tablet. She put she's it out married there. or something, right? Yeah, she's married. Oh, she really I think she did something yeah. different with her. So anybody speaking know if that of, was his money or her allowance money? Speaking of female rappers, um, have, y'all seen, have y'all seen that video of Lil' Kim's ex in the video crying? Lil' Kim's ex? Yeah, he was in the video crying. Uh, really? No. Like, who's her ex? Bro, I knew this thing was, for some reason. I just knew he was gonna say it. It wasn't. Who the fuck is her ex? It wasn't. It wasn't Christopher Wallace, Malcolm. He, he died a few <laughs> years said, ago. I don't know if you heard. I don't remember that nigga died. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. hear yet. He, he, got, he got assassinated. I don't hear yet. Guys. It was too much late. That's all. <laughs> it was too much late. <laughs> what year of the nineties were you born? Seven. Damn. I'm twenty-two. That's what I say. He was two months later. Ninety-seven. I'm twenty-two Biggie. years old. And Biggie died. So. Yeah. Man, that's wild. He was. He wasn't born when Biggie died. No, sir. I, I was. was. Either. I was Shit. three months late. So that, so Tupac them niggas died. really don't. I mean, you. I mean, of course you've listened, but like Tupac don't really hold weight to you like that, do we? Uh, Pac don't just because he's not as nice as niggas say he is. Yeah, Big does. That's a lot, and you know it's crazy. I agree with that sentiment, but like a lot of people, like of my age, but Tupac was so like it's. You cannot argue with any nigga like my age or older about but Tupac. But like Pac is the king of the masses. Yeah, and I never listened to them. That's like me listening to Drake. Niggas talking I was going to say, he literally had that effect. What, what yeah. people call the Drake effect now, Pac had that. But he had it when he was spitting Pac. real shit. Yeah. Which is, yeah, which is that's definitely different. more commendable. Mm-hmm. Facts. But music wise. Still wasn't whole for like Big. Mm-hmm. Like, and I hate when niggas try to say it. They yeah, both really good, but I, I think Big was better. I hate when niggas try to say just, if Pac died, then Jay Z wouldn't be who he is now. He dropped it. Wait, wait, that's wait. a conversation to have, though. If when Pac and, died, if I mean if Pac didn't die, excuse that's me. That's a conversation. That's to have, like if Aaliyah didn't home. die, then Beyonce wouldn't be Beyonce. Beyonce can sing better than Aaliyah. Was they out at the same time? Eh. I mean, Beyonce, Beyonce was Destiny's child. Be- she, was, she, Beyonce she wasn't Beyonce, Beyonce though. though. Yeah, though. Yeah. Like, Ooh, so she was like. the fourth Destiny child. It was Destiny's children. I mean, she was a lead singer. Is Destiny their mama name? 
No. Or they're not sisters. No. Do you None get of them? But Kelly Destiny's grew up child. with Beyonce and Solange. So Wait, what the fuck is wrong with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the fourth member. I don't remember your name, Shorty, but shout out to you. But they, they switched them out like three times. Bro, they, they, it yeah. Was, it was Selena. <laughs> He's trolling Selena. now. They switched the Destiny Shout out member out like four times. They like did. The fourth, the fourth Shorty changed. She was Latoya. a different. Latoya was, was Latoya. Yeah, she I was one of them. There was another expendable. one though that they didn't That's really like fuck the third, with. Third, fourth member. I would have felt hella expendable. Like, damn, how long do you? Hell I think yeah. they got, I think they sounded really great when they got Michelle in the mix. Definitely. She was well. No, she wasn't always there. You're right. Yeah, does anybody know me who they had? Albums, no, uh, I believe. I know. It was at least three, right? Yeah, I wanted to say at three. At least or three. Four. If you counting the whole Destiny's Child greatest hits, I would. Show, right? I would. Okay, well then I think they have like four, four maybe five. But uh, don't quote me. That's right. Yeah, they had a cool little. Cause Beyonce got like nine by herself, so she never been slapped for a long time. Nigga, ain't no damn Beyonce. near. She had yeah. slapped for a long time. Yeah, she been slapped for eight. How we should. She we probably should talk about this a little bit earlier, but fuck it. Um, chicks take five. Oh, shout out my nigga Tori. Came through. I haven't finally. seen Jagged Edge's name in like twelve years, so that was like. A fourth grade flashback. I'm actually really glad he yeah. finally dropped it. Granted, I haven't listened to it thoroughly. All the way through, but it's wild because I uh had Facetime Malcolm and I had said regarding the Chicks Hate Five, I was like, for all the trouble he went through, I feel like it could have been a little bit better. Not gonna lie, what I heard, I'm with you. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Like I feel like I'm with you on that as well. But it more so that sometimes came as he got more mainstream. So that more so happened after what? What was it? I told you. Mm-hmm. And that other the memories album that mm-hmm. one after that that's what I was like I wish he would actually go back to his mixtape shit. Is I told you that radio song? Each album had a radio song. How does so that go? I told I told you had um say it on there. Yes, say damn it. that was a while ago. And say it is the song I was thinking of. That's the that's his that was his breakout song. I don't like that song. Thinking. You don't like it? No, it's yeah, I'm not a big fan. Is that not a gospel song? No, that he flipped the brownstone song. That's a gospel song. It's an R&B song. What did I say? Gospel. So then that's what it is. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I don't know what the fuck Mike was talking about, but Brownstone is R&B, and he flipped that. So fuck what I he's mean, talking about. I, I feel, I feel you. I feel oh, you shit. Um, I'm not I mad like at the song with T-Pain. I fucked with that, but I like the T-Pain parts way more. With Jerry Sprung. Because T-Pain is fucking fire. Yeah. And I, always going to be bro, that way. Anything. How this nigga remix his own song and slap? What? What? Like how? Because he's amazing. Only Teddy. He, he was. Uh, I feel like T Pain was overused and underappreciated. Yes, definitely. In his prime, a thousand yeah, percent. Yeah. And I'm totally in agreement. He with was. That. Too, I thought like he was just young and was like having too much fun. He admitted he it was, too. If he was like 27 when he came out and like had been through some a little bit more shit. Instead of being what, like nineteen when rappers turn singer dropped or some shit. He like was that. hella young. Damn. He was hella young. He was like young. nineteen, maybe twenty yeah. when rappers really? turn singer dropped. Yeah, that was like 05, I believe. That was like two thousand five. And honestly, I don't even know he was that young. I didn't know Chris Brown was that young either until a little bit later in his 16. career. But yeah. these niggas started young and then a bitch, bro. So nobody's That's... listened to Chicks A five all the way through yet. Nah, all the way through, no, sir. Not all the way through, but I've heard mm-hmm. a bunch of the songs multiple times and I've heard way better R and B. Yeah, I gotta say the no, less no, no, no. the the less get blown flip was hard. That's probably my favorite part of the album. Not gonna lie, some of, see that's another thing too. Like, he shit. picked great songs to do though, and I fuck with the vibe. Uh, yeah, I like, feel like I'm a little bit biased when listening to Toy Lanez because I don't fuck with it that much. So it's automatically like I'm already kind of like listening to it. Off a little bit. Yeah, while I'm listening, and and, and, and uh, it doesn't help. That there's been better chicks tapes too. And it doesn't help that yeah. I um came in at the last twenty minutes of this pull up episode. Damn, I didn't even know we had a pull up. Damn. It just premiered yesterday. Oh, it did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see what that is. I have to watch that. Horse tooth nigga talking about. <laughs> that's, why, that's wild, too. He got a new hairline and I shit, but like his yeah. waves ain't really popping like that. Well, I mean, at least he got a hairline. I mean, apparently, I Tiger gets free verses from Tori, yeah. apparently, too. So. I'm saying, you're going to get the ball. You got to hair, you gotta get the he waves. Said I got the, he said, I got the hairline back. Nigga, I'm, I'm rocking the naps. Nigga, fuck it. 
This nigga do it through so all that just to be nappy. You might just grab, grow your shit out. You feel me? What, grow what shit out? Just grab a comb. I'm gonna say, what are you gonna grow? Like, you're right. Yeah, just get the fucking That's why he got the fake hairline, nigga. Just get the he mic. really could have just went bald to me. He like, really could have just stayed bald. Like, move and go bald. I mean, let's let it go. Black people. Let it go. Oh, to, to round this <laughs> off. <laughs> no. <laughs> to round. <laughs> LeBron's not ready. <laughs> to, to, round, to round this episode off, man. Um... <laughs> Are you, are, you know, Fab has a, uh, huh? That's why Anthony Davis was doing the LeBron. Oh, you're fried. No, um, <laughs> Fabulous, is, Fabulous <laughs> is dropping, um. Summertime Shootout 4? Yeah, summer, yeah, Summertime Shootout. No, it's a trilogy. Third, third. one. Third. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Dropping four, it right? Black Friday. Yeah, fuck with the other two? I do. The That's second crazy. one is I hard. That. I didn't see this news. Really? You didn't yeah. see it? No. Yeah, no, I, I saw I it uh, earlier, earlier uh, this week. He dropped like a little uh, preview. I don't season. get fabulous news. I might have muted him after that last outfit when he was wild. At. <laughs> Which what one? Yes, Which one? Pick one. I'm about to say, some of his outfits Pick definitely be OC, bro. Pick one. That, that, it was that one. It was that one. Yep. Whatever he premiered on Snapchat last night, that was that one. That's the one. Okay. Because that nigga definitely have some. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know. I mean, the last one, I was a little disappointed. The last one is hard. Summer shootout too. That's the one with sex with me with Trey songs. Sex with me so amazing. Was yes, that, he yeah. It's the same the, beat and everything. Was that the same one with him and Uzi? Yeah, I think so. New Goyard. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that mixtape. I mean, yeah. New Goyard. I like one better. What's next? New Gavinci. New. <laughs> both, hey, both of them songs are fire. Though. New Cartier. Mm. That's a name. You like you like Will Uzi? Cartier. Cartier. I mm-hmm. you, came you like Will Uzi? That's how you. Uh, my I point do. exactly, like bro. Nigga, so happy. You say you're so happy. He's just a black man, just happy. I love it. I like his vibe. I appreciate what she's saying about him. That's why I probably want to let him know. You think he's happy? Well, Uzi, I just like that he's hap- himself. I'm Uzi say, is happy. I'm not saying like maybe he's like happy all Literally, the time, yeah. but like he's just himself. I'm me, and this is the fuck it, and that's, that's, that's just what it's I gonna be. I like that. I'm just like shit. I don't know. I'm when I watched pop the Pop Tarts interview, I did respect that about him. I don't think he's happy at all, though. Oh, like, happy, like, literally, what you're saying? Yeah, I don't think he is either. I don't think that is, like, happy in the slightest. Like, y'all hear what he's saying in his music, in his snippets, in his, <laughs> in his, uh, in his captions? <laughs> Bro, nobody was, knows what the fuck he be talking about at the time. It's so, not are happy we, shit. So, are we, are we excited for this fad project? Yeah. I mean, I just kind of, like, found out about it. So, I mean. Oh, like, just now? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get no news about it or anything, oh. but. I remember recalling Summertime Shootout 2. It was cool during that time, but I never like. Uh, so, I, is it safe to say that y'all generation don't really fuck with Fab like this? Our generation, speaking for them, I hate speaking for people, but sure. Really? Sure. I can honestly say that he's considered old or washed. Yeah, for. I really? can tell you one person I know that fucks with Fab, but yeah, she I could too. Like a real Fab fan, like she know Fab. Yeah, okay. I can tell you actually. Well, he can tell you one. I can tell you one. A nigga, he fucks with. Yeah, because like niggas like my age and like older like love Fab. The niggas like my age. Like, he's actually younger than me. Like niggas as in men. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean women too, because he makes a lot of chick songs. When I say niggas, I mean in general. They like the uh, the Tobias joint. Right? The who? Oh. <laughs> Take him out. So Barry, Barry, you're not really a Fab fan like that. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna actively seek out his music, but if somebody plays some of his songs, then I'm gonna listen to it. But you, like you can vibe out to him though, but it's yeah. not not in your serato though. Like I'm not gonna play him every day. Got you. Got not you. gonna lie, I hate when he tries to make mainstream music. I hate when he. It does doesn't that. work for him. He makes I, good girl songs though. Fab, you think that did the album with Jada Kiss? Yeah, yeah. Freddie Richard Jason. That shit fire. Yeah, that's he right. That shit fire. Mm-hmm. But no, I'm saying like when he turn when he actually tries to make. What's hot right now? And he always tries to link up with these. Not saying you shouldn't link up with some new artists. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I love it when old meets new and they come together and make some bangers. But sometimes it's like you're not needed. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not. This wasn't needed. This song was not needed. So are you are you are you, are you saying that he should just stick in his in his girl bag. the girl song bags? Because he doesn't have a bad girl song. He wants to hear his lyrics. I'm about to say Fab got he be bars. Bar, he be getting bars off with the girl songs though. That's Don't what I'm get saying. me wrong. Getting... Fab got witty bars, bro. Like he's he's low key known for his witty <laughs> bars. Like he's a he's just a witty nigga. But at the same time, I don't care when this nigga like I don't really know how to fucking other than what I just said. Like when he hops on whatever sounds hot now and he tries to take it and then he sounds corny as fuck when he tries to put mm-hmm. it out. 
It just sounds corny. It sounds like he's outdated. To I don't be think honest. Fab is like. That's just me though. He's not captivating it. in 2019. I guess that's a better way he to round be it. Maybe respected or talented, but he's not really captivating. I don't think he's out here gaining new fans. That might be a better way to just round up what I just said, pretty much. But there's no disrespect, no take away, nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, it's just because all the niggas that's popping right now are doing like 18 other things. So mm-hmm. You don't see Fab all doing doing all that, doing yeah. corny shit like the baby or Blueface. Only corny thing he Shout does out is. Shout to Boot Gang. He got his life together. Shout out to Gabbana. John, John Gabbana. John. That sounds like some. That was that his birth name or he just made that shit up? I think Bro, his first name know. is actually John. Yeah, I okay. feel like his I name is John. That last think, name I'm not sure about. I think this is his real name because I've heard this even back when he was tweaking. But like, mm. he could have made that up as his real name even back then and just stuck with it. I mean, well, shit, it's his name now. I mean, I just think it's stupid that you got them fucking tattoos in your face. Like That's what I was saying too. Like, damn, it's like. Why, like, like, why, did it, why did it take this long yeah, to get your sibling? I'm about to say, he might have got... Yeah. Sometimes it just takes people to get knocked the fuck out. Bro. Yeah. Y'all did say Gucci had to go to jail to change. Was that mm-hmm. y'all? That might have been on other podcasts. Fuck. Mm. <laughs> well, it might have been. Cause I was like, yeah, we like Toxic Gucci over here. Yeah. I, 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 I like yeah. Yeah. The, the music. Had, the music. Why can't Jay-Z rap about generational wealth? That's what I want to know. He can. I didn't say he couldn't. I just, I'm not listening to it. You're not. You gonna bump that, that other shit? I'm bumping that drug dealing Jay Z for sure. Yeah. So you're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm definitely bumping whole <laughs> slinging crack. <laughs> That's crazy. That Maybe Taylor really changed the whole narrative out of the conversation. You seen that, right? Yeah. All right. I, I don't like when I'm getting jumped on here. And this, ha- <laughs> this happens often. Oh, you don't right. like when you get jumped on. Hey, I'm being the black horse or the dark horse or the black sheep. Black sheep. Two rows. Everybody yeah. agrees that you should speak up, but you've done a good job this episode. So this mic is fired as well. Let me hold up, man. I gotta give it up for my niggas, man. Let my niggas smell blue. the fucking flowers. Niggas still <laughs> fucking smell it. Um, Perry, where can where can they find you at on uh, Twitter and Instagram again? Uh, Twitter is thug underscore paradise, but that's P E R R I D I S C, gang gang. And then Instagram is blunt cosmetics, B L V N T cosmetics, and also thug paradise from a regular one. That's a V, not a U. You don't want me asking yes. what, what's what? Why the V? Is that just like a? Um, I don't know. I just like the way it looked. Got you. I was gonna ask that I too. I didn't. Um, I didn't want nobody to think my shit was based off weed. Facts. Because um, it's not. So. Just like being like blunt, because blunt means more than just like a blunt Weed. smoke. Yeah, like, blunt, yeah, like being like blunt, being direct. Very like, direct. Like 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 the lip gloss, like Alfie. like a motherfucker just walks in the room and with that lip gloss on it is like oh like she she ain't playing no games in this bitch. Well, more than just a lip gloss is more than just like a fucking lifestyle. Like me, like so you should, me, you should blunt, let me you should let me you should let me do like the commercial voiceover for the for the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm about to say, listen to it. His voiceovers might be on. Hey, hey. Listen, hey. once I do a men care line, I'll hit you up. Got you. So you can let these niggas know. No, Got you. Like, you want to whisper? You want to do a radio voiceover? <laughs> ladies, ladies, this ladies. This is your host. From the quiet <laughs> store? This nigga knows. <laughs> oh, my God. I definitely, I do got it's some quiet, quiet I do got a quiet storm bag that I can really Let me hear your deepest to. voice. <clears throat> Hold up. <laughs> I want to hear this. Oh shit! Everybody, this is a world premiere for the Brother Guys podcast. Let me close my eyes. <laughs> Ladies, this is your host Jay Manley Beck. <laughs> hey, that's how he face off his girl. Like, like, with the lights on. He definitely, the lights I definitely on. faced off with the lights off. She faked. He faked like he was sleeping. Got the I do. I've done that a few times. So I, I know. I know. Like, I've done it a you, few you times. You just like ignored her calls. He was playing the game, and you ignored her calls, and then she like keep on calling you. So then you got to pick up the phone. Oh, oh I'm shit. so fucking yeah, sus. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm so definitely yeah. yes. I was knocked out. Hey, you lucky she ain't have online. Hey, man. I'm about to say, <laughs> niggas was online, so you can't pause online. So it's like, I'll hit you back. But you know, you can hide offline, though. You can what? You can hide offline on Xbox. You can hide online, but nigga, yeah. if the game's still going, I'm not just finna... Oh, well, yeah, duh. No, That's when you still fake sleep until the game is over. Exactly. Yeah. You feel trash. Like... No. Oh, my goodness, I never did that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Xbox Live, nigga, that, that built character as a kid. I don't give a fuck. Definitely did. And you know, you know. I got called nigger so many times. Bro, I got called a coon. So many times. That shit is hilarious. The Modern Warfare days was fun. You don't know I hit these white boys with one time on Call of Duty? Because <laughs> they, they tried to get on teasing. They was like, yeah, there's there's never been a black person who's been a superhero. I said, yes, it has. 
They was like, who? I said, Django. <laughs> this nigga didn't say the Black Panther, the Green Lantern. He didn't say nobody. Nigga said Django. Django was definitely a superhero. He was a slave. I mean, he's gonna be in a movie with um, what's the nigga? The Rock. Yeah, the nigga with the sword. The Rock. Zorro. Zorro. They're making another Zorro. Django and Zorro coming together. Really? Yeah. They connected? Fire. That's gonna be bigger than Cuban leagues. Nigga did a purple tape. <laughs> <laughs> He said, that's going to be bigger than Cuban leagues. <laughs> this is the 36 Chambers? What the fuck? What the What's happening? Watch it throwing too? Oh, shit. I want to know, oh. what did the white people say after you said that? They laughed. They probably called him a nigger and said, hi. No, they saying? laughed, but they were like quiet because they was like, damn, like, he kind of shitted on us with that one. They laughed and said, hi, yeah. I love Samuel Jackson. Hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hated his role in that movie so much. <laughs> I think everybody did. Yeah. No, my dad loved it. I was so surprised. For real? Like, really? the most racist person I've ever met. <laughs> he liked that Uncle Tom man singing. I think everybody's I like dead or like like older people in their family is like racist. Yeah. Even if they like, they don't even know if they register it as racism. No, because that's normal to them. They live through it, so it's not even like. Definitely don't register as racism. Yeah. That's just how life is to them. Yeah, yeah to them, that's just normal. <laughs> they that's live just... through it. It's hilarious. Bro, they, like literally, bro, like. Well, they, hey, that shit crazy to me. Because your dad was born in the early 60s, right? Yes. Yeah, mine's was yeah. too. Yeah. Like, whenever I see that picture of that little girl in the Black People Zoo, like, that was, like, a few weeks after my dad was born. That picture was taken. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Which man. picture? The little girl and, the, and, the, and all the white people girl. watching her in the little zoo. That picture was taken a few weeks after your dad was born? Yeah, or a few weeks before one of the two. Damn. Wow. That's wild. The, when that human zoo shit was happening? Yeah, same year, all that stuff. That's really crazy. They I had was so niggas. blessed to be born in the nineties. In a real. zoo, like. But did y'all see that narrative on the internet where it was like they put slavery, uh, they put like racist pictures and shit in black and white to make it seem longer ago than what it really was? I mean, yeah, I wouldn't put it past. That really, shit's not yeah. that long ago, bro. It's not <laughs> because they had color pictures back then too. Shit. Yeah, they definitely like, did. Oh, so it was trying to paint a picture for us not to, to be desensitized to, to it. They, yeah, to get to move past it. I don't understand why white people history, say you know. get over slavery, but you tell them fuck Holocaust, and it's just like it's a whole uproar. You kicked it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's like you can you can't be mad about that because it was so long ago. <laughs> Jesus, but the people. Holocaust. We're just niggers. That was Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's he has a valid point. <laughs> According to them, but you know what's crazy them, though? Jesus people. Niggas with the science. Niggas know Jesus was born. I was about to say, niggas is where Jesus people, if you want to be technical. Yeah. Yeah, the, Jesus uh, looked like T. Rose and Malcolm. Bingo. More like me. Which is why this nigga gets called Jesus. <laughs> My dad called me Jesus with a G. It's probably because the hair is long. I thought Jesus was a little bit darker. He, he, he was. He had yeah. locks, though. Light skin? Kind of, yeah. Mm, I mean, you I'm decide. On, you tell us. I'm on the lighter end spectrum of brown, and you just a little bit well, Some people call him albino. Yeah. Nigga, who called you albino? You remember the, the tank top story? He had the, the, the exclusive drip. <laughs> hey, the exclusive drip. <laughs> Don't even tell this nigga how he fucked it up, please. I fucked it up? It this wasn't albino? talking about Neapolitan ice cream. Oh, yeah. oh. About the ice cream. oh, that's what it was. Okay, yeah, somebody called him Neil, Neapolitan ice <laughs> that's cream. That's funny, wow. though. That's why I thought of it. I was like, this is my God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Why she didn't even have to say that. She said, Why God damn. Like that, it's cold outside. I can't fix it. I need tips. Oh. I don't and my know. girl said that. She was podcast, working. podcast, hey. summer trip next year. We got a plan. I mean, shit. Costa Rica. I'm about to say, let me know. I got fans. Uh, know where niggas is dying because I heard Costa Rica and Puerto Rico. Go to Japan. Mm. I'm with her. Yeah, tell us about it. You We're going to talk about it. I would. Would you go back? Fuck yeah, I'm going back. What you mean? And you went for free last time. That's lit. As Definitely. fuck. <laughs> for free. I mean, like it, was a free a dumb, but it was yeah, a cost. It was a cost. It was definitely a cost. You said it was a cost, exactly. but uh, yes. better than money. Better Y'all want to go ahead money? and drop your social medias? Malcolm is important. They know who the fuck this is. Oh, it's OX Rose. Now I do. Oh, yeah, I'm Malcolm. Nice to meet you. Well, I know you're I did, did, I, did I not introduce oh. you guys at the start of the podcast? You introduced Marcus. He was sitting over there eating cookies. You did. We was just gonna I don't think you did. Until the end. Damn. This is did. welcome to episode fifty of the Brother Guys podcast. I'm your host Jay Manley. We got the Haven on the camera. Uh, Malcolm is important. We have a guest today as well, Perry. And then we also got Rosie in the place to fucking be. Him in the strap. 
Let me get the fuck up on out of here. All right. Thank y'all for listening to episode 50, man. Appreciate I'm your host. it. We're Yo, man, good. this is episode 50. It's like, 50 episodes. 50 episodes, my nigga. That's a like, lot. That is a fucking lot. We done talked to y'all niggas a lot. We about to yes. have more episodes in states. Facts. Now we want y'all to talk to us. Tell us what we need to improve on. Tell us what we are doing good at. All of that. The podcast is really good, man. But that one guy on the far right just, just like, doesn't. Speak up. Yeah, he doesn't speak up. Hey, uh, fuck all y'all who said that. And too. Jalen is a nigger hater. <laughs> 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 well, then no, we're out, man. <laughs>